Hello and welcome to Mute Gamer Zone. I don't have an intro, so let's just start. It's a game where you and others work together to survive and make things. It mixes old-timey Victorian looks with magical stuff. You play as realm walkers who can move between different worlds to get stuff, make stuff, and build stuff. In this game, there's a system called Realm Card that lets you choose which world you want to explore. This adds some thinking to how you play the game. The game takes place in a world where Earth is covered in a strange fog, and people are spread out across different worlds full of creatures from old stories. Your job is to find Nightingale, the last safe place for humans. You get better by making better gear, not by leveling up like in other games. Better gear helps you go to new places and deal with tougher challenges. You can play this game with friends. Up to six people can play together, helping each other build, explore, and stay alive. The graphics in Nightingale can be good in some parts, but not so good in others. How well the game runs depends on your computer or game system. Overall, the game tries to make you feel like you're really in its world. The menus and controls are made to be easy to understand. You can use a keyboard or a controller to play. Moving around and doing things in the game is straightforward. Nightingale is a fun game with cool ideas, especially when you're building and exploring different worlds. Since the game is still being worked on, there are things that could be better, like how characters interact and how well the game runs. Among Trees is a game where you have to survive in the wild. It's both peaceful and challenging. You're in a forest in England, and it looks really nice. You play as someone exploring the wilderness. There's no set story, so you can do what you want. You need to craft things to survive, like maps, tents, and axes. But finding some items can be hard. The forest in the game looks great. It feels alive with lots of plants and animals. The weather changes, and it gets dark at night, making the game more interesting. As you make stuff and explore, you get better at surviving. This helps you go to new places and deal with tougher challenges. It's a way to reward you for exploring. The game looks cool with its unique style. It runs well on most computers, so you can enjoy the pretty visuals without any problems. The menus and controls are simple and easy to understand. Anyone can play without getting confused by complicated stuff. People like playing Among Trees because it's calming and fun. It's not too stressful like some other survival games. The sounds of nature in the game make it even more relaxing. The people who made the game are great at listening to players. They update the game regularly and fix problems quickly. Among Trees is a cool game where you can relax and explore. It's a nice change from other survival games, and its beautiful world will keep you coming back for more. Next game is Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles is a game where you have to survive in a tough world like Conan the Barbarians. You start by being exiled and then saved by Conan. In the game, you have to build shelters, find resources, and make tools to stay alive. You can make lots of things using different crafting stations. You also need to take care of your character's hunger and thirst and deal with things like sandstorms and extreme weather. The game happens in the exiled lands, a big place inspired by Conan's stories. There are deserts, mountains, and other areas with different creatures and things to find. You can explore ruins, dungeons, and other places to learn more about the world and find cool stuff. As you survive and do things, you earn points to level up your character. This lets you learn new abilities and make new New things. You can choose how you want to play, like focusing on fighting, crafting, or building. You can play alone, but there are also multiplayer modes. You can join servers where people play together with different rules, like fighting or not fighting each other. You can also play with friends in co-op mode. The game looks really good with detailed characters and a nice world. Conan Exiles is a tough but fun game with lots to do. The world is big and interesting, and playing with others adds to the fun. It can be hard at times, but it feels good when you make progress and survive in the exile exiled lands. In Star Sand, players find themselves in a tough desert world where the main aim is to stay alive. You gather things, make tools, and build shelters to survive. At the start, you have simple stuff like a water bottle, and need to learn fast to avoid running out of water and other dangers. The game changes from day to night, which makes surviving harder as you face different problems at different times. You can make lots of things in the game, from basic tools to big structures. Exploring is important too, as you find special places like OA and old temples in the desert. These places have good stuff and secrets to discover. As you play more, your character gets better at surviving and can do more things. This lets you survive better, get resources faster, and explore risky places. Star Sand looks pretty good and runs well on most computers. It makes you feel like you're really in the desert without causing big problems while playing. The game's menus are supposed to be easy to understand, but it can be hard to move around them using a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. The inventory isn't huge, so you need to decide 
decide what to keep and what to throw away. Using the controls in this game is simple, making it easy to play. However, the menus can be a bit tricky, especially when you're sorting through your stuff or making things. And the last game is The Infected. The main idea of the game is to survive and make things. Players have to find stuff, build safe places, and make tools and weapons to fight against dangers like animals and infected creatures called Vambies, which are part vampire and part zombie. The game tries to feel real by making players think about things like hunger, thirst, and staying healthy. The game has a day and night cycle, changing weather, and a world that keeps changing to make surviving hard. Making stuff is a big part of the game, with lots of things to create. Players can also get better by unlocking new skills and things to make as they play. The game happens after the world has ended because of a virus. The world is a mix of wild nature and places that humans left behind, making it feel lonely and dangerous. Right now, you can only play alone, but the people who made the game might add ways to play with others in the future as they keep working on it. The Infected is a good game for people who like surviving and making things. Its world and how it works make it a challenge to play. Even though it's still being made, it already looks promising with new things being added and people helping to make it better. That's the end of the video. If you're up for it, try playing those games. Remember to like, subscribe, and watch for more. Until next time.